Um, <laughs> hi, Jenny. Um, welcome to my show. Uh, we have a beautiful painting that is uh, that you came, you brought with you, and tell me about your technique. What's what's oh, the? Oh well, it's actually tin. It's um, tin that's been uh, cut up and um, hammered to a piece of plywood, and a lot of the tins are vintage. Some of them are just new advertising tins. They come from all over, and. Uh, that, that's about it. You take the tin, you cut it up, and you nail it down. So this imagery is kind of, uh, has like the fan shape. Is there oh, a uh, reference to Asian? Oh, form? no, there, it's a quilt pattern. Quilt pattern. Yeah, and I, it's one I like. I have a quilt that's a fan pattern that I got at a thrift store a long time ago. And I just really liked it. And then I, I used to hook rugs, and I would always have the, whatever was in the interior, go beyond the border. Right. I didn't. I didn't want everything hemmed in. I kind of liked the idea that this might just be flowing on into the world. I like it. I like how it's really graphic and the colors are beautiful. And each one of these is unique. It's it. it you cut each each piece mm -hmm. uniquely. Well, and it's fun to look at because you can. You know, here there's a pagoda, mm -hmm. and there's some leopard over there, and this is part of a dollhouse roof. Um, this is a beautiful uh, peak and freen um, cookie tin. Um, all of the uh, corner pieces are um, different rhododendrons. And here we have a caning, uh, image, caning imagery. So it's, it's fun. There are butterflies and daffodils and lots of candy in it too. So what did these mean to you in terms of uh, art history or, or formalism or pattern or connection to anything? Do you have any idea of like... It'd be really nice if I did, if I could say, oh, well, you know, it's, it's something to do with something really important, but it's not for me. I just like doing it. <laughs> it just, it's just really fun. It's a great medium. I've, um, worked in all different things, textiles and ceramics and mosaic and paper mache, so many things, and painting. I did a lot of painting, but doing the, uh, cutting up the tin is really where my heart is. Yeah, I, I really enjoy how you kind of, uh, the technique and the process helps the graphic nature of the outcome, and, and it's really the way you orchestrate the colors and composition, make it all really nice. and. Uh, uh, you're repurposing the right. um, materials and in this innovative way and make this really rich stuff. Um, so hopefully I'll have one before I die, but uh, it's, uh, it's great work. It is rich. Like each one of these fan patterns yes. is you totally unique. I just love uh -huh. it. And so it's just kind of really deliberate in how much information and how much uh, colors and oh, yeah. stuff. And there's, there's a bird there. And then I did, I did this on purpose because you know how when you see old tile and there's one, there's usually one missing. So I did it a couple times. I just put a silver oh, nice. uh, piece as though it had fallen out. Oh, wow. A couple places. And what was, why did you think that was a good thing to do? I don't know because it reminded me of a tile, Mexican tile bathroom. And sometimes the tiles fall out. And so I just thought, well, that's a nice little addition. Nobody's ever asked me about it, though. Nobody's ever said, well, how come that, you know? Yeah. Nobody's ever said that. So no, that's one of those inside gems that I would have never known if you hadn't pointed it out. This is all sorts candy, that coconut and uh, licorice candy from England. Wow, cool. And so, yeah, there's lots to find. This has a title, this piece? Oh, yes. This is uh, Flowers and Candy. Flowers and Candy. Because that's the majority of And your full name is? Uh, Jenny Phileas. Thank you for asking and thank you for having me. Alan Foley. Um, well, thank you for coming down all the way from White Center. I know. It was um, a long drive. And uh, humoring me on my my learning process yeah. and whatever I'm, going, whatever I'm doing. Um, but yeah, this, this size of this piece really, really helps with this kind of 
interaction and the storytelling because... This is the largest piece I've ever done. I don't like to work big. It takes too long and I can't really manage this in my studio. I have to drag it into the house. And... Well, it's a nice piece. Thank you for bringing it. Oh, yeah. Good colors and yeah. graphic and have nice borders. And, Thank you. You know, um, I like the black, the way you kind of Together. Yeah, yeah, that looks really cool. And you really is highly coveted in my circle of tin artist friends. We we could never really have enough black. Right. Everybody's always asking for it. I think I'm getting black ah. and I really need some. So you buy and trade on the open market for all these the special materials? Yeah, I wanted some yellow plaid the other day and we have this secret group on Facebook and I said, does anybody have any yellow plaid? And this gal in Portland said, hey, how about this? And I'm like, oh yeah, I need it. So she's mailing it off to me. Cool. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to tell us about your um, artwork or your... your I don't um, know. I, um, I think I'm really lucky to be in Seattle as yeah. an artist because of the tribe here. And um, I just love artists. I, my husband wanted to move to Hopium, and I thought I would shrivel up and die because I wasn't sure I'd be able to find enough artists there. And so I'm really glad we stayed. And I just really enjoy all my interactions with artists. It, it, we're very lucky to have a community. Here. It's so true. All right, great. All right, we'll see if this, this one works. Uh,